Okay, folks, welcome back. This is your old pal Hondo doing another video for you, fine folks. We're doing a we're doing a how-to video on how to upgrade a small form factor computer, which this is a six-gen i5-6500, uh, 500 gigabyte um, uh, HDD hard drive, and it does have an eight-stick gig of memory. These used to come with four. Um, but if you upgraded them to one dual channel slot of um, 8 gig memory, there were more money. And then you could put a terabyte of uh, a solid state drive in this if you wanted to. Uh, and you could use a um, one terabyte HDD hard drive as well. Uh, we're going to upgrade this one. We're not going to remove the, uh, the hard drive and replace it. We're just doing a quick, what we call... Um, a graphics upgrade and RAM upgrade basically show you how to do it real quick so you can get better performance out of this machine it does come with one now this one is from eBay it's a refurbish uh, Dell small factor form computer I'm going to use for uh, multimedia purposes in my living room to hook it up to my uh, to my my TV it does come with an H uh, it does come with a hard disk drive right here so you can I guess put drivers on there or whatever uh, burn videos if you need to like music videos for CDs and all that stuff um, this is a seven year old computer but this is basically what you could expect from eBay uh, it was like 89 bucks this is going to be like one of those type of videos where you could build a uh, a gaming slash uh, great editing PC for under I don't know 350 bucks it's about 350 bucks I just, you know it was like um, graphics card, RAM, and computer all in around 350 bucks just to show you you can build a small factor form computer um, for 300 bucks, 350 bucks, something like that. Okay folks, um, if you do have one of these Dell Optiplex um, 3040 small form factor computers before you even install your new uh, your new graphics card or RAM uh, you may want to do a full, full thorough cleaning on this unit before you do this if it's like a hand-me-down from a friend or a relative if you do have to clean this uh, you may want to you know take all the stuff out of it you know remove the uh, IO cover remove the cover of the uh, computer and then um, take out the fans the hard drive caddy take a small dry paintbrush and then you know brush all the old dust bunnies and uh, dust and uh, hair or anything that's on the inside out and then take a uh, either a can uh, you take some canned air and just spray all the motherboard off and everything else off the fans off with compressed air or a can of air if you don't have a air compressor you can use the can air after you get done using your your paintbrush but make sure you do this outside and you remove the fan off the CPU cooler if it's got a lot of dust in the CPU cooler you have to unscrew the CPU cooler offset and then remove it and uh, spray it off with a uh, you know a canned air or a air compressor or you could use that paintbrush and remove that dirt and hair off of that and then put the uh, CPU cooler back in and then you know screw it offset screw it but you don't want to screw it in too tight because if you screw in the CPU cooler too tight you can break the motherboard but if your unit's not dirty like this one isn't and it's been refurbed then you can skip that process and just go into installing everything and that's what we're going to do now uh, first thing you want to do is hold the unit like this where it's facing the screws on the side here you may need a screwdriver to unscrew this but we've skipped that process and loosened the screws up all you gotta do is just unscrew them by hand on the back of the uh, the case right here on the side of the computer case here you just unscrew it and uh, simple as that pull no seem to be unscrewed all the way okay once you do that, you can pull and remove the cover of the computer. As you can see, it's pretty squeaky clean in here. Squeaky clean right there of the unit. It's very lightweight. Um, now, the first thing you want to do after that is you remove the front face cover of the uh, machine. 
like this, if you can get it off. Remove this plastic cover where it holds the power switch and everything else. And you remove this out of the way. And you don't need to unplug anything to do this. This is really quick and simple. Um, now there's a locking mechanism here on the hard drive caddy. You push that in. And you push this in right here. And it should, in theory, come out. Okay, there we go. It all comes out in one shot. You don't really need to do much. You just want to get to the uh, RAM set here. Now the RAM will tell you which slots you're supposed to return the RAM once you remove it. Right here's the RAM. And uh, you have to push these two little tabs in to remove the RAM. And it comes with one 8 gig stick. So you could probably put another stick of memory in this if you need to. Um, the type of memory you want to use for the small form factor computer is <clears throat> D unbuffered, unbuffered uh, RAM here. Uh, this is a cheap RAM. This is a time text. You can get this stuff for like 25 bucks for two sticks of uh, 8 gigabyte RAM. It's not the best stuff in the world, but it should work for this. And uh, you put it in the first slot like this. Make sure it goes into the slot. And put it in the second slot as well. Like this. Well, you put the first one in first and you push it down. And you find the other slot and put this in. Of course, this is not open up there like that. Put this next slot of RAM in here like this. And kind of line it up. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get this RAM in here like this. You want to push it down to make sure it's secure in there so that's in there now and uh the type of graphics card we're using here is the gddr5 card you want to use this uh project this is a uh gt1030 um you could also use the rx 550 the rx uh 6400 you could use the um gt 1060 Ti um, and you could use the uh, GT 1050 Ti for this as long as uh, it is a proprietary powered um, graphics card it goes in this piece PSI slot right here and you have to remove this uh, latch right here you open up that latch and uh, once you remove this latch you can remove one of these little OEM covers and uh, we're going to open it up and show you this is an off brand this is not like a Zodiac or a um, Gigabyte or a Color Power um, graphics card this is just a uh, standard um, cheap Chinese version but uh, once it didn't come with the it didn't come with the driver's disc so you'll have to go on NVIDIA dot com to update the uh to update this with uh, drivers and stuff on nvidia and uh once you do that it uh should work fine uh it's gddr5 this is the zerlon version of it and uh gddr5 right here it's uh, basically this is really small it has a proprietary power um module is the 140 watt 80 uh 80 gold type of uh power supply so it really can't take much of a uh, graphics card so I, re I would recommend you just to put the uh, GT 10 uh, 30 in this or the GT 710 in this because uh, anything more that it needs a external power supply you would need a splitter to come off the SATA and I don't think it would have enough power to overclock it without burning your your uh, power supply off this is a low power card so you really don't it doesn't take much power to use it this is basically like how you can make this into a light gaming rig or a you know a 
a good editing rig or however you want to put it <clears throat> you know for editing um watching videos in 4k with this card okay we're going to remove um if you want to put this in this is the low mounting bracket there's two of them and uh this is the original one for a full full size computer it's a small form factor uh bracket right here you have to unscrew these two nuts with a small like uh, small wrench uh, screwdriver wrench to get that off and then you put that plate back on Okay, there it goes, and you just push it in, it should just pop right in place, there it goes, and really you don't have much room to play with this uh, computer, but if you want to remove it, there's a little, uh, there's like a little button you push down right here on the side and it pops right out, and uh, there you go, we installed that. Okay folks, now we got 16 gigabytes of RAM, now you can put, uh, you can leave one of the 8 gig sticks in there and put 4 in there to get 12. You can use two 4 gig sticks of unbuffered DDR3L RAM to get two 4 stick gigs of RAM in the dual slant channel slots and get 8 gigs. You can put uh, just the one 8 gig stick of RAM and it goes in this way, sticker facing that way. Put the first one in this first slot here and then the second one in the second slot so now we got 16 gigabytes of ram we have a gd a gt 1030 graphics card in there and uh after you do that it's pretty much done and uh i'll you know put it back together and uh simple as uh just putting this caddy back in like this and uh you know locking in this caddy like that oh you gotta make sure it's seated in there well um and it should lock back into place like that you put this front cover on the uh machine you put this front cover on like that and once you put it all together you should have a nice little uh e uh triple a sports uh type of title gaming machine or just a good fast running um dell optiplex uh 30 40 um small form factor computer this will work on the fourth gen and the second gen models of small form factor computers very simple process to do this and uh if you like this video on how to upgrade your uh small form factor computer from uh, a zero into a hero this is going to be my new um multimedia rig downstairs in my uh on my TV so uh, and this is what you pretty much can expect from a refurb from eBay so I'll put this uh, case lid back on it and uh, okie dokie here we go alright there you go GT1030 graphics card it has been installed you will have to update the drivers though once you install the uh, graphics card on NVIDIA.com to install the GT1030 drivers just to show you that you can turn these uh, 6 gen i5-6500 uh, small form factor computers into small triple A gaming title uh, computers that you can play like mild gaming so there you go we have them both installed y'all I hope y'all like this video on how to install and upgrade RAM and a graphics card on a Dell Optiplex 3040 just to show you all it worked there you guys go hope you all like this video on upgrading an old uh, eBay refurb Dell Optiplex 3040 small form factor computer y'all take it easy this has been your old pal Hondo from Hillbilly Tactical you put God first, he puts you first every time. And you know what else, YouTube? God loves you, so does Hondo. Peace out, everybody.